to stop what you're doing and listen. News Network. I'm Nafe Nafe. And I'm Devin Dethridge. And welcome to episode 13 of RNN. We have nine more weeks left of school, so seniors don't start slacking off. The start of the fourth quarter is underway, and the third quarter grades are in the gradebook. To give you some more information on the fourth quarter is Mr. Transu. So we are literally in your last two months of school. I'll give you three points. First, communicate with your teachers. Make sure you're clear on everything you need to get done to accomplish your goal of finishing. Uh, second, keep your eye on the prize. Don't start drifting off and thinking about what's not been accomplished yet, what you have to accomplish today. It's not what you're gonna do tomorrow, it's what are you gonna do today to get through uh, so we can all see you walk across that stage in May. And the third thing is absorb every memory, every event, everything you can do because this is your last hurrah. Um, and enjoy it. Thank you, Mr. Transu. Recently, there was a soft opening for the TAG building, allowing some of the CTE classes and band to move into their new classrooms. As for choir, they have their first concert in the new theater. Here's a member of choir to tell us more about the story. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Melissa and Julian. So tell me about how it was in the new TAG building. Well, um, it was our first time performing in the, th the new theater, and I thought it went really cool. Like, our sound was pretty full, and it made us sound in really incredible. Any memorable moments? Uh, it was just really nice to break in the new theater and be the first people to perform in it. And do you have any, like, other words? Uh, come see our next concert in May. <laughs> It'll be really good. Yeah. And um, next Thursday, April 11th, we will be singing the national anthem at the Giants game. So that's going to be something really cool and fun. All right, you're here first. Back to you two. The official grand opening for the TAG building is April 27th from 11 to 1. Now let's hear from a member of leadership on the logistics of the TAG building. Hey, guys. So we have some questions. First, how much did it cost? It costed about like $48.5 million. Awesome. How long did it take to complete? It took about 21 months, per se. Super cool. How many people worked on it? It's about 100 people working a day with 40 subcontractors. Perfect. Hey, yo, where are we going for lunch, man? Yo, that sandwich joint, bro. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's, let's go. go. All right, bro, I call dibs on driving. Whoa, 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 Jack. Do you even have your license? No. Why not? I just don't know where to start taking my classes. I know the perfect place to start. Where? Go to all good driving school. Why? What makes it different from other places? They have great instructors and great customer service. But are they affordable? They are most definitely affordable, Jack. Don't worry. But I live in Petaluma and they're in Santa Rosa. No problem. They have a location in Petaluma too. Alright, I will for sure check them out. Yo, just hop in. I'll teach you right now. Alright. Welcome back. Last Tuesday in the College and Career Center, the students of the month were awarded for being respectful. Here's an interview with one of the students. Thanks, Nafe. I'm here with? A lot of toys. Uh, so you got the award for respect, and what does this really mean to you? Well, I guess you treat people how you want to be treated. And so respect would mean 
having more connections. More connections can provide more, well, businesses, people, friends. Connection would also create more enemies as well. Yeah. With respect, you pretty much give respect to the people who treat you right. And you only do right by the people around you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. And do you think this says like a lot about your character? Like you are a respectful person? I guess so. I, I've been called selfless a lot. So I guess so. Really heartfelt. Back to you too. Thank you, Jordan. The spear points have been updated and Faith is going to give you your number by number. Hi everybody, I'm Faith and welcome back to your number by number. In first place, we have the seniors leading with 471 points. In second place, we surprisingly have the juniors with 410 points. Remaining neutral, we have the sophomores in third place with 301 points. In fourth place, we have the teachers with 241 points. In fifth place, we have the freshmen with 217 points. Make sure to keep your eyes out for upcoming Spirit Point opportunities, such as the Spirit Week or Break Games. Thank you, I'm Faith and let's bounce it back to the studio. Prom tickets are on sale this week and will continue to be sold until April 26th. This week's tickets will only be sold to seniors and ASB cardholders, and starting next week, everyone can buy their tickets. You can find more information about ticket prices or any info on the Prom Instagram at rchsprom2019. And that's all for this week's newscast. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, have a great rest of the week.